I cannot tell you how much I love Sticky Boobs. These are amazing. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I am sharing five style secrets that I swear by. So these style secrets are things that I incorporate into my everyday when I'm getting ready, when I'm putting together outfits to be more stylish, chic, make my life easier, and in some cases, uh, less painful. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to keep on watching. And the last thing is, if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And without any further ado, let's get on into it. So this first one is one that I really try to incorporate into my every single day to make sure that my every outfit is like top notch, poppin', looking amazing. And that is to take one unexpected piece and pair it with your outfit. So this can be a pair of shoes, a handbag, a pop of color, a print, a pattern, anything that is that uh, contrast, that juxtaposition to your outfit, that is going to really level up your outfit and truly make you look amazing and like you've really got it going on. For example, wearing sneakers with a dress, an oversized blazer with jeans, dressing it down, and just having that juxtaposition of style that I talk about in a lot of my videos kind of just makes something stand out, but it also kind of ties everything together in a fun, unexpected way. Go from just clothes to an outfit. Now I'm sure at some point in your life, you have heard the phrase, you don't know what you don't know. And for style secret number two, this was something I did not know about for a long time and I kicked myself like, wow, Jessica, we could have known about this a long time ago. Fashion tape. Fashion tape is my go-to hack. It is with me always. I always have a little uh, tin in my purse for on the go for those times where I'm like, oh gosh, I need something. It is amazing. I'm sure some of you guys do know what fashion tape is and know all about it. And you're like, okay, this is, this is elementary stuff. Okay. Well, I didn't know about it for a long time and I'm super into the world of fashion and styling and putting together outfits. So if you're like me and you did not know about fashion tape and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, fashion tape is essentially just double-sided tape that you can stick onto your skin, you can stick it onto your clothes, and it is removable, it's not there forever, and you can adhere it to wherever you need it to be. For example, something I always struggle with is button-ups. I wear a lot of them, I love how they look, they're beautiful, but I do have a bit of a larger chest, and with that comes buttons opening up by themselves and things just like popping open. But when I found out about fashion tape, all of that changed. I don't have that problem anymore and it's amazing. So basically you just can, you know, peel off the sides of the tape, stick it on to, for example, like in between the buttons and then it just locks it in for the whole day until you remove it. And it's, it's so great. Fashion tape will save you from so many mishaps and I highly recommend it. Sticky boobs. That's it. That's style secret number three. Sticky boobs. I cannot tell you how much I love sticky boobs. These are amazing. I originally found out about sticky boobs like 10 years ago, back when I was in high school for a high school dance. And I would only ever wear them with like fancy dresses or like strapless dresses. And I was like, yeah, that's for, you know, fancier dresses. But then a couple months ago, I wanted to wear this black lacy cami that I wear all the time. And I didn't want my bra straps to show. I always had just worn like a regular bra with it. And I had never even considered, had the thought that I could wear my handy sticky boobs with a regular top. It had never occurred to me that I could wear these with something other than a strapless dress. So I tried it out. I wore it with that black cami. Amazing. It was game changing. It was so much more comfortable than wearing a regular bra. And as I previously mentioned, I do have a larger chest and I don't like wearing bras, but I have to because I have a larger chest. I cannot go without a bra. I am not one of those people who can just wear a lacy bralette. I've tried, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. I need the support. I need the, the something. And I never imagined, I never even considered the possibility that sticky boobs could give me the support and exactly what I needed. And then from that point, I think this was like four or five months ago, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do an experiment where I try wearing sticky boobs with just regular clothes, regular t-shirts, regular sweaters, regular outfits, with everything, 
and we'll see how it goes. And you guys, I love it. I have had significantly less back pain. I don't have to deal with, you know, sometimes like your bra shows with some t-shirts, even if you do have a t-shirt bra, I never have to deal with bra straps or underwire. And it's just, it's so much more comfortable. I just get like the, regular sticky boobs from Target. I don't remember the brand. I, I'll make sure to write the brand down below and I'll link it if you have never tried them or if you've only tried them with strapless dresses, give them a try. I know they're not gonna be for everybody. These are my style secrets, things that I do. And not everything that I do is going to work for every single person, but I feel like it is worth a try, so try it out. Moving into style secret number four. This one is especially for my petite gals and it is all about cuffing your pants. So if you don't like the look of cuffed hems, or maybe you find that when you cuff your hems, it makes you look shorter and you don't like that, instead of doing the regular cuff where you cuff outward, try cuffing inward. This is one of my go-to styling hacks because I'm short, I'm 5'1", and pants are always long unless I get them from the petite section, unless I get like a short fit or an ankle cut. But if I just get a regular pair of pants, they're always too long and sometimes I just like, I don't, I have this weird fear of like cropping and cutting things because what if I like regret it? So when I don't want to crop things and I don't want to do a regular cuff, I don't want to have that casual look and I just want the crisp look of pants, I just do a double cuff inward to make my pants look shorter. I can maintain the vibe of my look without making it look dressed down or more casual. It's just like a super simple, easy DIY fix to have some shorter pants. And my final style secret that I swear by, that I do every single day, is before I wear an outfit, I plan it and I try it on. Now I know this sounds super basic, you're like, well duh, no. Every time before I like have an outfit that I wear out, and especially if I'm like going somewhere, if I'm like wearing an outfit, I always, always, always make sure I try it on because sometimes when you plan an outfit up in your head, great outfit, and then, you put it on, you go out into the world, and then you see yourself in like a window reflection and you're like, I, I wore this, I wore this out into the world. I hate this. And you feel uncomfortable and self-conscious and you're just not confident. So to avoid this, every time when I plan an outfit, I always make sure I try it on and look at it from all angles. I always wanna make sure I feel comfortable and confident wearing it. And that is the most important thing when it comes to style. You should always feel comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. Sometimes I'll have ideas for outfits. I'll write them down. Sometimes I'll take pictures of like the top and bottom and shoes together. Like I'll just lay them on my bed and take a picture. I'm like, yeah, I'll keep this outfit in mind. Of course, I'll always try it on to make sure it's something that I actually like and that flatters me and looks good. So then when I don't have any ideas for outfits, Outfits, I'll just go into my little outfit inspiration photos or outfit ideas that I've written down and then I have like a, a well of ideas to just pull from and then I can just like pick one of those. I know it's good, it's vetted, I tried it on and I'm ready to go. And that is a wrap on today's video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys got something out of this video, learned some tips, tricks, uh, style secrets. And if you have any style secrets of your own that you would like to share with us here on the internet, make sure to share them down in the comment section. I will be scouring these because I am always looking for ways to be more stylish and to make my life easier. And hopefully when it comes to fashion, because fashion can and be uncomfortable, less painful. <laughs> now for today's quote of the day segment, today's quote is quite a bit lengthier than the ones I typically include at the end of the videos, but I came across it on Pinterest today. I really resonated with it. So today's quote says, stop worrying about other people understanding you. Get in touch with yourself instead. Focus on what makes you happy, what makes your soul feel at peace. You are your biggest commitment, so start loving your flaws, your awkwardness, your weirdness, your intensity, your vulnerability, your everything. Life becomes so much more fulfilling when you are simply just yourself. The world keeps spinning whether people understand you or not, so why not make this next trip around the sun about you? You know, I really, really like that quote. and. I feel like if someone were to just hear this or read this uh, quickly right off the bat, they might think, oh, this is about being like selfish. It is and it isn't. It's more about taking time to spend the time on yourself. So often I find that myself, I spend so much time making sure everybody else around me is having a great time, is happy, is doing well and et cetera and so forth. Like I'm always worrying about other people around me, but. I don't really take that much time to worry about myself. And this goes, I think, beyond self-care because I have, you know, been better about self-care, but 
it's more also about just like caring about you. It's about making sure that you are a priority in your life because if you're not doing well, if you're not healthy, if you're not well, if you're not taking care of yourself, then how are you supposed to take care of everybody else? It's like that same thing, like when you're on a plane and the air mask drop, you know, when they're doing the, like the safety instruction, how you're supposed to put your mask on first and then help others. It's that same principle. So think about that as we go into the week. If you're bad about that, try working on it. I will definitely try putting myself uh, first and making sure that I'm healthy and happy and doing well and that I am a priority this week. So make sure to do the same for yourself. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you have the most amazing rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.